Today we did a three act task called Humpty Dumpty. And the reason that I picked that task is because we are just about to wrap up our addition chapter in Go Math. And I was really wanting to see what math language kids could use in their discussion of solving problems. I want you to think to yourself, what are you wondering after seeing that video? Think about that for a minute, because we're gonna put our heads together and our bottoms up. I want you to share with a partner what you wonder after seeing that video. A lot of times when I present a problem, you've got your group of kids that instantly want to go to their problem solving strategies, or they instantly want to come up with the answer. And then you've got your kids that kind of just sit there and freeze and don't really know where to start. So one of the ways that I address that is I'll have them do partner talking, either with a shoulder partner or we cluster in groups of twos or threes and I call it heads together, bottoms up. And a lot of times the kids that don't have ideas of how to get started might get the ideas from hearing how other kids are gonna approach the problem. But I see 10 eggs. I think I see nine eggs, I guess. heard some good questions about things people were wondering. Jeet, I wondered if you could share with the class what you're wondering after seeing that video. I wonder how many eggs are in the milk the, um, the egg carton. How many of you agree that that's a good question? How many no, eggs? Oh, good. Did anybody come up with a different question? Who has something else? Gorgia. How much the, the eggs broke? How many eggs broke? Is that your question? How many of you think that's a good question? How many eggs broke? Well, I agree with Gorgia. I'm wondering how many eggs broke? Do you think we could take a guess? Yeah. Could we estimate? Before you share your estimate, is there any right or wrong answer? No. Can mathematicians make mistakes when, they, when they're guessing? Yeah. yeah, but should it be reasonable? Should it be something that could be the answer? Yeah. Yeah, so would 100 be a good estimate? No. Hmm, all right, who'd like to share their estimate? Wyatt, what did you think could have broken? He thinks 10, how many of you agree that's a good estimate? Five. How many of you think five could have broken? Is that possible? What'd you say, Gurgia? Eight. Eight. How many of you think that could be a reasonable guess? Could eight be a possibility? Hmm. Isaiah, what did you put? Twelve. Twelve. Why did you put twelve? Because my mom usually gets egg packs with twelve eggs in it. Uh, so Isaiah says his mom usually buys eggs in a carton and there's usually how many in it? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Or nine eggs in the carton to begin. Oh, boys and girls, now we have a little more information. Now watch this. Hmm. Does this give us a little more information? Yes. Oh. Boys and girls, would you turn to a shoulder partner and tell your partner what information does this give us? What information does this picture give us? Turn to a shoulder partner. I think I'm just a facilitator, just to present the information and then let them kind of grapple with how they're gonna go about solving it and make sure if anybody kind of starts heading down the wrong road that I kind of recruit them back to head down the right road. So what did you figure out? But remember our question was how many eggs broke? Is that how many broke, or is that how many didn't break? What do you think, Rose? How many eggs do you see there? You see nine? Count them. How many do you see? You see five, so the story said there were nine in the carton, 
they're showing us five are not broken. Now can we figure out how many did break? Nine eggs were in the, eggs car in the egg carton. Boys and girls, one of our problem solving strategies is to draw a picture. Do you think drawing a picture might help us to solve this? Yes. What could we draw? Eggs. Nine eggs. I'll give you a second to do that. Nine eggs. There were nine eggs and four of them broke. How did you know four of them broke? I don't see any broken ones. Because four, because five plus four equals nine. We subtract four from nine equals five. Is there a way you could show that in the picture that you drew? How many of you think you could show what Annie just explained in the picture? Boys and girls, I'm gonna give you another couple minutes to work in your journal to see if you can show me in your picture how you know which eggs broke and which eggs didn't break. Stop for just a minute. I wanna invite Wyatt to come forward. He did something in his journal that I wanna share with all of you. Can you take a look up here? Would you tell everybody what you added to your picture just now? I put X marks on the one that were cracked. How many of you agree? Is putting an X on an egg a good way to show that that is the part yes. that maybe broke? Yes, but I used my hundreds chart. You used your hundreds chart to solve it. Would you come up here, Red, and show everybody how you used that strategy? Bring it up here. Don't. Show me how the hundreds chart helped you with that. Because I hopped nine and then I hopped in four. So to go from, you started at one, and you hop to what number? Nine. Okay, so there were nine eggs in the carton. And then, um, and then there are five. Okay, we know that there were five that were what? Not broken. Not broken. So then we have to figure out how many could have broken to get us to nine, which is how many? Four. How many of you think that could be a good strategy to solve? How many of you agree with that thinking? All right. Tell me what you see. So does this picture match what you wrote in your circle at the bottom? Yes. Show me. Come up to the board and show me which part of that picture matches. So our question at the beginning of this, boys and girls, were how many eggs broke? Show the class how many eggs broke. Can you count them and show us? How many of you agree with that? Four eggs broke. My goal is to try to do at least one per month, and I kind of use it as a formative assessment to see how kids are doing after we've completed a chapter, and I've done a lot of direct instruction in whatever particular skill we're learning. So it gives me a lot of information about whether or not they have a deep understanding of this concept and not just rote memorization of how to solve problems.